Hello everyone and welcome back to my author channel, which is now a, a conjoined sort of hybrid between my author life and all the other creative aspects of my, uh, my existence. It's new if you haven't seen the updated video on what I'm doing with my channel, I'll leave a link there. But let's talk about what we're doing today. Today I'm once again taking part in Project AuthorTube, which is a month-long event organized by Tamara Woods or TA Woods. Um, uh, all the links to relevant channels and social media will be in the description down below. Also a playlist to the Project AuthorTube um, event. Let's call it an event. It's more like a AuthorTube-wide collaboration where we try to help you prepare for an NaNoWriMo. And today we're going to talk about whether NaNoWers are real writers or not. Um, this shouldn't even be a topic of discussion because as far as writing goes, if you do it, you're a writer. Congratulations! Yay! Good for you, you're a writer, that's it. That's where this video ends, bye! <laughs> Kidding. I started doing NaNoWriMo back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Um, <laughs> I can't remember exactly whether it was 2011 or 2012, but you know, it's, it's, it's close to a decade, so I've been around for a while. And ever since I first signed up for a, a, the site and decided I was going to do my nano thing like the very next day I saw the first negative comment about people doing nano and they were being bashed because oh they think they can just whip up a good novel in a month and then they think it's publishing ready or publishable in general and it's it, it all sounded very weird to me. Why bash people who are just challenging themselves to build a consistent writing habit? And it, it seemed ludicrous. Like it seemed out of this world and crazy and just negative with no actual benefit. But then I realized there are exceptions in the nano community and there are some people who think they do their best work during nano and when they're done with the month and the 50k words then um, it's ready to be sent to a to a publisher or an agent which is rarely the case um i don't really know of anyone who can just submit the first draft and have it be good enough but those are the outliers i feel and based on those people who, you know, um, could exist outside of nano, people try to create this idea that uh, people who join NaNoWriMo and write are not real writers, which is complete bollocks, to use a UK expression, and um, to not have to censor this although i wouldn't it's bullshit that's what i'm trying to say it's it's freaking bullshit like i said earlier the only prerequisite to being a, a writer is to write um you can then go into detail and say there are uh people who only write for nano because it's fun and they love the community which is great there are hobby writers who just write when they feel like it there are career writers who want to turn their writing into a, a a career and become published authors and you know full-time authors who do nano because it's fun and they're you know full-time writers obviously that's their career to write all the time um but that doesn't mean one of these groups is uh, made up of realer <laughs> writers and the others are just what fake writers no that's 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 silly you just have to write and write at your own pace you might not even write 50k in a month you might write double that or triple that and still not finish one novel because you're writing i don't know epic fantasy that's absolutely fine but somehow this idea that uh, we're all some 
crazy wannabe authors who have well or writers not even authors who have nothing better to do than to write for nano and we're all shit and our stories are shit and everything we do is trash it's an annoyingly persistent idea which i don't think is going to go away anytime soon hence we're having this discussion here whether nanoers are real writers and the definition of a writer my advice to you is that you should ignore this kind of negativity every time you encounter it just delete it out of your memory in the end it doesn't matter it's usually from people who are looking either for you know a lot of hits on their articles or posts or whatever and they know negative pieces get a lot of attention because there will be people debating them so you know more traffic and stuff more engagement and um, it's either that or they're just bored or envious because they can't take the time to write 50k in a month or maybe that's just their resentment because it, that's not how their writing works they they can't just write every day otherwise i just i don't see why this a perception exists and why every year i see this debate but you know even if you understand logically that this is all bullshit it will still affect you if you especially if you're new if it will make you question your reasons and your ability and your future so um, here i am telling you you should ignore it or you know just dismiss it as irrelevant and crappy criticism sure i totally recommend you do not submit your first draft to a publisher or you know when querying an agent then again it's your life to whatever you want you might be the one person who gets it right in the first draft doubtful but you know it's just a suggestion i'm not trying to tell you how to live your life but at the end of the day you can question anything you can question whether your writing is any good we all do that um there's editors for that you can question whether writing is the right path for you you can question whether nano as an event is good for you it's not a great fit for everyone you can question anything you'd like except one one thing whether you're a real writer or not because you're you're writing words that makes you a writer it doesn't even have to be fiction for you to be a writer it can be non-fiction or a biography or anything else you're still a writer you might not be a fiction writer that's fine that's that's a subcategory think of it like a subgenre doesn't mean the main genre um, is better in any way it's just different so um yeah just I'm, I'm thinking of what you could tell people when they try to you know ruin your motivation for nano with negative stuff like that and uh, the only thing i can i can i can think of is a ludicrous song which i've been using as a shield for anything i dislike and the lyrics are as follows move bitch get out the way <laughs> like if people try to stand in your way with bullshit reasons just tell them to kindly step to the side and make way um if you want to be crass about it and you know have a sick beat <laughs> as, as your soundtrack um, you can just play them the ludicrous song it's great it's fantastic it's a great philosophy in life um so yeah good luck with your nano project um hope preptober is going well for you and hope you've gotten a lot of tips advice and motivation and encouragement from project author cube thank you for watching thank you tamara for having me again um as part of this project 
I think it's my fourth year or is it third? I don't know, I can't remember, I lost count and I don't remember the names of the characters in my own book so it's, um, it's to be expected that I don't know how many times I did Project Author Doom. <laughs> Jesus, I'm a disaster, I'm a walking disaster, it's fine. Anyway, let me know what you think about what makes a real writer. Hmm. Share your thoughts about all this nano criticism that pops up every year and um, if you have any questions leave them down below i will see you all soon and um yeah thanks for thanks for watching and putting up with me i know i'm i'm rambly bye <laughs>